I see that nigga in a minute. Let's see what that nigga come up to. Yeah, too. Bro. A lot of fucking high school speed reactions now. This shit, bro. Loki, I don't even want to watch this nigga, bro. Like, it don't even seem interesting, bro. So we just gonna click on whatever, bro. Like, you don't even, like, I'm not even interested. Let's see if he still can make me laugh, if he still got it, you know. And I got Botox cosmetic. There was a particular photograph. The lines. I mean, so just recently a clip went viral. I mean, you know why people ignore his ass, bro? Because he be thinking he this shit. And he just the shit talking. He a dick. Nobody wants to be around people like that, bro. Nobody wants to be around a motherfucker who thinks of this shit. You feel me? And, and just talk shit. And does it. it's not even cool. Like, it's not even lit. Like, you feel me? You gotta be lit. I shared it on my Instagram where Sneeko is standing there and I show speed and Kai Snip just walk past him without any acknowledgement. A woman <coughs> is about to stop him to say something to him and they look like they just rejected him. Yeah, can you please wait with Sneeko? Yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. Yes. Everyone have fun, guys. Okay. Thank you. Now, some people on my video and me, myself, thought this might have been unintentional. They just walked past him. They was... Intentionally, they did that. Shit. They they mean to ignore the dude, and they think they the shit. I ain't gonna lie. I'll beat the shit out of Ashro Speed and beat. I'll beat the shit out of Kai and I'll beat the shit out of Adam Ross, nigga. I'm a mama, don't ever treat me like that, nigga. I don't give a fuck what anybody got to say. Be like you jealous, this that. I don't give a fuck, nigga. It's gonna be contact. You gonna see me slap the dude for you talking about? Because he didn't realize. Because when you're caught up in the moment, you don't really look around you and pay attention to everyone. But Sneeko went on a little run, basically just going at them and saying that he's too risky to. No, don't play with me, nigga, for real, no. So say that brand with. He said this. Their manager said in their ear, you know this, I know this, and everybody watching knows this. They completely ghosted you, Aiden, because you were brand risky. Because you weren't profitable to hang out with what happened to the friendship there you know who was there you know it was like you already said you're not profit or profit whatever to hang out with i show speech getting used by all these niggas bro that nigga he using i show speech believe it or not nigga. he be taking his little manual 
tourism. He's just not as gay as him. That's why he be having more celebrities go to him. But they really want to go to Osho's beat. You feel me? But he gay. You feel me? That nigga, you, that nigga, boy, I, I, I walked, I walked into his life. He had like a hundred people watching. Nigga, how you got a hundred people watching? You the biggest streamer. And then the next day, he gonna go join with Osho Speed. Same with that nigga. That nigga don't be getting one million. It's like this nigga. You, you, you feel me? And, and I went to his shit. His shit was getting no views. What he do next day? Go to Osho Speed crib, nigga. What are you talking about, nigga? That nigga, that nigga don't even know this nigga's using him. Bro, these niggas don't even, nobody likes Speed, bro. So if niggas around Speed, they using him, bro. I'm on my nigga. When you got accused of a rape allegation, when last year, New Year's Eve, when they tried to accuse you of rape, who was there on stream defending you while everybody else was silent? While everybody else was like, what? I immediately defended you because I know that they try to do that to successful men. As soon as you get to the next path in life, they try to bring up some false allegations, and I defended you, Kai. <laughs> I actually covered that whole Kaisenet situation on the channel as well. That blew over really quickly. It was his friend at a party who was accused of certain things, being an R allegation. It was very serious. And Sneeko said he defended him. A lot of people did defend yeah, I seen this one interview where niggas was saying, like, he did it because people don't be accusing people of something if they didn't do it. Like, nigga, you sound dumb as hell. Like, people do be lying. People do be accusing people of something they don't be doing. Like, but, but do say it with so much conviction that it made you think, like, oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, I mean, bitch, you be lying, nigga, you know? Kai, because it was nothing to do with him. It was his mate. But Sneeko making a point here that he had defended him in the park. Then you walk right in front of me. Aiden, same thing. When you got canceled, these people were not your friends. They only fuck with you when it's profitable for them. This whole influencer shit is like high school times 10. It's all the giant pop. Dude, shut the fuck up, nigga. You just mad because your ass is falling. contest there's no loyalty whatsoever they smile and do a little dance and bark but none of them act he said there's no loyalty whatsoever so me why i just made a song uh two days ago and my song i said there's no i said there's no loyalty just pain and misery that's why i mean what i sing i'm a woman and when i'm finna drop this shit bro y'all niggas finna fuck with y'all already know to even like each other they only pretend to so that they can get more money and fame it's all fake. So put that one in my song, but I'm working on that. Just record like, but like a week ago, I said, uh, I said, I said, you ain't got to pretend. I said, you ain't got to pretend. Just pay me. Some shit like that. But I'm telling you, the way, the way that beat drop is so hard, my nigga. Like, hard as hell, you know. And so if, the, if, if you notice that this is not messing with whatever you're doing, take it as a sign that you're doing something right, bro. It's all a play. So obviously, Aiden Ross has done streams with Sneeko in the past. They spoke about the Andrew Tate situation, but also a lot of stuff has happened to Sneeko. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And guess what? That whole life was lame as hell. Matter of fact, I seen Sneeko go, I don't know, he went to like a Jew city or whatever and was talking to some Jews. Nigga, that shit was lame as hell, bro. Like, even the Jews. Like, you took that from Ashwell Speed. Like, everybody watched Ashwell Speed. He said that he got in his head, and then the interview got in his head, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, everybody's taking everything from Marshall speech. Just look at Kai. He be doing this. Bro, Kai is the most nigga that be taking, like, everybody know. And if y'all don't know, well, now you know. Kai be taking a lot of shit from Marshall speech, bro. He the fakest one at all, nigga. His ass fake, man. They all fake, nigga. You know how this shit go. But since he's been called out by various YouTubers and certain things have happened, he's not been cancelled, so to speak, but he is very outspoken. Him and Aiden Ross were clearly caught at one point, so I'm surprised he would just walk past him. But I think the closest person Sneeko has been to is Kai, some very old streams you can see. Yeah, when I seen him, he was lame as hell. That's why they passed him, bro, because he ain't getting no views. He lame as hell. Like, come on now, bro. Like, this is the real world, nigga. Nigga's not gonna wanna fuck with you. Not even your best friend gonna wanna fuck with you if you start going down, nigga. You know how this shit go, nigga. That's why you should always focus on yourself, nigga. Always. And always take a risk for yourself. Always think about yourself no matter fucking what, nigga. You know? Come on, and he speaks about this also in the Rumble stream. 
if you guys remember, if you guys are the OGs, remember like we used to do streams together? I used to go down to Atlanta. Look at me, I'm high right here. You know, we're just chopping Wait, it up. Wait, man, Pastor Chris, because see that mother... Chad, there's no way they would ignore me. Yeah. Can you please wait with Smeagol? Yes. I just told you why they ignored you, bro. Like, these niggas been around with a Drake, all these goofy-ass niggas. So, like, these niggas feel themselves, bro. And, like, you becoming a normal nigga, bro. They gonna try to stay away from you. They gonna have you fade away. Man, they fake as hell for that. I don't, on some real shit, I don't fuck with Kai. I don't fuck with Adam. I don't fuck with I shall speak for treating people like this, bro. Like, I feel like they entertaining, whatever the fuck. Like, Kai is not entertaining me. Matter of fact, Phantom more entertaining. Matter of fact, Phantom a bully nigga. I like the weak nigga when they used to be fat and got skinny from the A and P group. Like, he the one coming up, bro. All these niggas. Fuck him, bro. Real spill. Fake ass nigga. Like I said, nigga, I'll beat the fuck out of all the nigga. I'll fight the shit out of all these niggas, bro. I'm on nigga. Like, really, really beat these niggas, bro. Like, I'm on nigga. Have fun, guys. Wait. Okay. Well, they definitely heard my name if they didn't see me. You know, it's about six inches in front of me. I'll feed them, mate. Come on now, bro. They don't want to fuck with you. Like, come on, bro. Why are you in your feelings? You know, the narrative being pushed on social media is that Kai that Speed and even Aiden Ross egoed him. They literally just looked down on him, but it's a possibility they didn't even see him. I didn't think of that. And I, I even said... Y'all niggas is dumb for thinking this nigga did not see him. He said his name. They seen him, nigga. Like, you could just tell the vibe, nigga. The vibe was it was trying to ignore him. And then the dude had the nerve to turn around and still not see him. Act like he ain't see him. Bro, they finna get they finna get some type of call I'm telling you, bro. I'd um speed's camera and I'm like, hey man, what's up? And he just he ignored me, so I'm like, okay, that was weird. I don't know what beef he had with me. Damn, you knew Kai. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to go to Atlanta, I used to go to, to make videos and do content with AMP for like four years now. I've known like AMP for a long time. I don't know if you guys are really OGs if you know like that, but I've been yeah, I've, I've been known them. I met Speed before at the, the Vultures concert in, with Miami, and, you know. That's how you know this nigga falling down, becoming a normal person, becoming known, because he's telling you how you know these people like these niggas, celebrities, some Drake. They are celebrities, but they're not Drake, nigga. They know who the fuck you are. They just want to see you fail, my bro. His ass better come up, nigga. If anything, he finna come up. You feel me? And if not, then these niggas finna get their karma for treating people. I should be hasn't even been getting that many fucking followers like he used to, bro. So it's like, nigga, I don't even like watching him like that. Like, you feel me? So it's like, niggas finna get their car, bro. My nigga. So they, they, you know, they decided to ignore him. And they're, they're, they're like, whatever reason, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't really care. Whatever reason you guys want to speculate, if you guys want to say brand risk, if you want to say all this stuff. Yeah, this fake ass Mexican does kill. Now at this point, Stinker goes into full rant mode and goes off of them and says they're built different. He ain't like these other streamers. This is his rant. They try to lump me in with these other influencers. I want to reiterate right now, I am not like these other niggas, man. I am not like one of these other influencers. I'm not them. Sean Strickland doesn't seem to understand that a lot of the people in the MMA community, they think that they're lumping me in there. Bro, the only videos that they allow of me on YouTube right now are videos of me getting punched in the face. The random Dawa Muslim channel, they're deleting every single video off of their channel because I'm speaking positively about Islam. If I'm ever clipped in a positive way on YouTube, they take it down. It's an interesting point that Andrew Tate got canceled on social media, but shortly after, so did Sneeko because he was so outspoken. Blurred. They need to call me sneaky -o on TikTok. Sneaky? They can't use my real name. That's how sensitive I am. I stream on Rumble. Who else streams on Rumble? My generation. Who else is doing it? The people that they put at the front. That's another good point from Sneeko. Rumble and Kick are completely different. I think Rumble is for people that have been censored, always go over there, Russell, Brand, Andrew Tate, whoever. And the modern day influencers, people find cringe like Neon. HS Tiki Talk, was given a platform there at one point as well. Yeah, like all these people that be going to the Rumble and all them bitches is because they trying to, you know, stick it to the man, you know? And the man is YouTube. You know? If they, if the man, if I show speed, went to Rumble, like you feel me that shit will blow up these niggas is not that into not that entertaining i'm telling you bro real speed nigga matter of fact 
my show speed used to make me laugh. And then when I looked into this shit, like, you can get tired and bored of making videos, bro. Like, I be getting bored doing this shit, bro. Like, real spiel, bro. You feel me? And I feel like y'all can tell, you feel me? You feel me? So, like, I can tell when I show speed be just going with the motions, you know? Like, I swear to God, I just be watching. Like, when I watch, I show speed shit. Either he's getting born old or he just not loving this shit no more. Like, real spiel. It's like the modern influencers are going to kit. A power slap. The people that they, they promote and put you know, on, the, on the Rumble Creators page, the people that they like they shove in front of Dana White, you know, like, hey, here's the influencers. They put me on the other side. And I'm the one shooting on Rumble every day. Every day. And they put these guys, Kai and Speed, on the stream like, what do they stream like six times? They, they give them, they, they walk out the red carpet for them. I get it. I get it. They're not a brand risk. They're, you know. Dude, this is why I'm trying to be a celebrity. When you're a celebrity, fucking want niggas niggas forget the rules nigga on my mom nigga if niggas wanna fuck with you they gonna fuck with you bro that's why when you on top nigga it's this shit on my mom nigga they, they're jumping around they're dancing they're not gonna speak about anything you do whatever the fuck you want alright cheers to get fears thing that is gonna cause a problem right they're not gonna nobody's gonna they, you know what to expect when you get them but don't call me one of these influencers when I'm not one of them we're not in the same category it's not a superiority thing I'm just I have to be in the different section. People are afraid that I might ask a question that's gonna that's gonna lose them a brand deal. Kaisenet recently secured a huge bag getting a brand deal with Nike, and it's a fair point, but I don't think it's the whole situation. People can just fall apart and not agree or have lifestyles that match. Kaisenet and Speed and even Aiden Ross not liking Sneeko, I don't think it's any kind of matrix attack or them censoring him. They may just not like him and he may not fit their friendship group anymore. When he means by friendship group, he means we fake as hell, bro. We wanna go fuck with you if you got the numbers. Niggas is fake as hell. They some bitch ass niggas. They ain't no real street niggas, that's for sure, nigga. Man, I will beat this shit out of they bitch ass nigga. I will take they fucking bitch. Once we get up there, nigga, and we on their motherfucking level. We gonna be the real motherfucking deal, nigga. My mama, nigga, they gonna be wanting to act like us, nigga. All right, man. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Come your favorite part of video. Tap the notification bell. Turn your notifications on. If you want to donate my channel, Cash App gonna be in the bottom of the link description. If you want to follow me on IG, my socials gonna be in the bottom of the link description. All right, man. Stay tuned. We got big things coming up on this channel. I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Daily.